to the Whitby Public Library's Summer Adventure Walk here at the beautiful Darlington Parks, one of Ontario Parks. Um, it's a sunny day. Uh, you will probably hear the waves breaking on the shore, so you have to sort of uh, bear with me on that little bit of extra sound. But um, let's explore Darlington Park in the summertime. And of course, the best place to be is on the beach. So today's activities are all uh, centering around the beach. But first of all, let's really quickly have a look at what uh, I brought today and I would suggest you bring to the beach. Well, I brought a basket, I brought some garbage bags and I brought some gloves. I brought my magnifying glass and of course a very adventure walk we always bring our magnifying glass because there are large critters but also the very smallest critters are also very interesting and our magnifying glass will help us check those out. I brought two field guides today. I brought a bug guide because we're going to find out if there is any bug specifically to a beach. And of course I bought, brought my uh, bird book because there are birds, of course, very specific that like to hang out on the beach. Um, one thing I discovered is Ontario parks have these beautiful, uh, fun activity books. We have an English and a French version. And they're really worth checking out and taking along. They are available at the uh, front uh, uh, house or probably any of the other houses where you can uh, get your permits or buy some uh, uh, things that you like in the park. They're fa fantastic activity books. They're, they have uh, uh, facts in there. They have uh, activity suggestions in there. So check these out next time you come to one of the Ontario parks here. Fun thing to have and fill out and go on hunts for. So that's fun. That's what these guys are for. And of course, you probably want to bring a snack when you go to the beach. And I brought my water and I did bring just a snack. Something that the Whitby Public Library is offering this summer are our new discovery kits and as you see one of these discovery kits is a backpack full of goodies that you can bring to any adventure walk it includes a magnifying glass uh, all sorts of different field guides and books that help you uh, identify uh, animals and plants and trees that you come across on your walk it's all in the handy backpack so check that out they there is a discovery kit and it is going to be available beginning of july well one of the activities that i always do when i go to the beach um have a plastic bag handy for a little bit of a beach cleanup um, really important for our environment um, it is important for our wildlife to keep all the the areas and our wildlife healthy so that's one of the things I always like to do Let, let's do that first before we do some play actually I'm going to make that a challenge for you and it's going to be one of your read square challenges I challenge you to pick up 10 pieces of garbage so let's start with number one I have a little piece of plastic. Number two, an old bottle cap. Well, we have some more uh, cheese wrappers here. So that's three, another piece, straws, which are really dangerous for wildlife. So let's make sure we always pack up our straws four another straw five a piece of metal six
Another wrapper. Seven. Eight. A plastic spoon. Nine. cigarette butt. Um, not only is it a, not a very healthy habit to have, but it is so dangerous to the environment because it releases toxins into the sand and into the water. So I have another little tiny piece of styrofoam. Now I am already in 11 and it took me less than five minutes. I have this gigantic plastic bag which smothers wildlife really badly. It takes a super long time to, to, to biodegrade. After it really takes hundreds of years. So let's put this in our garbage bag here and glad that piece is off the beach. All right, let's play some beach games. Simple, we don't need it to bring really anything. We have everything we need on the beach. So first game we're gonna play is tic-tac-toe. I'm sure you're all aware how this game is played. How do we play it on the beach? Well, I have a stick here and the first thing I'm doing is making my outlines here for my playing board. I have two vertical lines, two horizontal lines, there we go. Actually, I tell you what, we're gonna make a square about it so you see all those nine squares because that's what we need. So now I have nine squares. What else do we need? Well, first of all, you play this with two people and you need some playing stones. And I have stones. I have black stones for one player and white stones for the other player. So let's start playing. So where am I going to put my first stone? Right here. All right, huh? Where do you think I should go next? I think I'm going to go here. tic-tac-toe on the beach. All right, next game, super simple. We didn't just bring our basket to like tra uh, trash or other things. We can play sink the stone with this basket. All right, and my opponent is Warren over here, so let's go. I have the white stone, Warren has the black stones. Okay, come on back a little. Perfect, well, I'll let you go this time because you lost the last time. See how flat my stones are? 
like tiny little pancakes. So let's see how I do. I went into the basement. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let me do another one. This one is a little smaller. some playtime and now uh, before we go on our bug hunt and bird hunt uh, let's have a snack um, my favorite drink is water so I brought my water so I'm just gonna have a quick drink great blue heron flying in oh and this is a bird named killdeer and that seems like a funny name but do you hear him killdeer deer that's really what uh, his name comes from is from the sounds he makes oh and here we have three swans flying over the little bay area are you ready for hunting some bugs and remember to look at the bugs it's always good to, to have your uh, magnifying glass and and your field guide your bug field guide well this small little blue butterfly is called a spring azure he really likes the beach but he can also find him in the garden Yeah, we have little bees here, the flowers on the shoreline. Oh, and you ask, what is this? Well, this is actually the caterpillar of a gypsy moss. I'm sure you heard a lot about that this year because they are definitely a pest who likes to eat leaves of our trees. And um, the, so the trees have a hard time this year. So we are actually finding even a gypsy moss on the beach here. Take home and paint, but let's all just take one rock. 
Pop Hall because we don't want to uh, take too much of a natural habitat home so displace it because each piece of the natural habitat actually has a place in its environment but I think we can each take one rock so let me pick a good one I think I like my rock to be round and maybe in a beetle shape and I see one right now that I really like check this out I think it could maybe make a really fun beetle out of this rock so I am going to take this home put it in my basket well I think I had a really fun time at the beach today at Darlington Park here uh, we did some exploring we played some games and we helped to keep our beaches clean so what's left to do of course we have to pack up and make sure that we also leave our little beach spot nice so then when we uh, uh, came upon so let's clean up I have already got all my my items back in my basket including my rock I'm going to fold up my towel oh I had a piece of paper yes we're going to put this in here too let's fold up our towel it's always good to bring a backpack so you can put everything in garbage what you ask where we're we going to put it well the park will have all sorts of garbage containers and we're just going to carry it to the next garbage container and put it in here is my painted rock my inspiration was a little ladybug that we saw on the beach too have fun painting your own summer bug rock thank you so much for watching Follow us on social media or visit our website at whitbylibrary.ca to discover more of our online programs and collections. Hit the subscribe button and bell notification for notifications of all our upcoming YouTube programs.